Uh, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on uh, animation and I think we uh, have basic knowledge of uh, enough material to begin our first animation tutorial. So our first animation will be just uh, a simple walk towards the right and uh, basically if you know one side you can do all the other sides. So it's just going to be a simple animation and from this we can move on to more complex stuff and throughout these set of animations um, tutorials will be building an animation very simple one but uh, with somewhat of a storyline uh, followed based on Pokemon obviously and um, that's basically it uh, if you have any questions please uh, feel free to comment but let's just get started so uh, okay I'm gonna open up the sprite sheet where I just downloaded the Brendan main character of uh, Pokemon double click it and I'm going to be using a photo editor fireworks to extract each of the sprite images so for his walking right he only has three uh, emoticons so I'm just gonna cut those delete everything else and uh, fit the actually I'm just gonna put this in a new document just so I don't write over the original one so paste this here zoom in then select the magic wand tool from the side press uh, alt or in the new fireworks just click on it and hit delete and as you can see I, I might have deleted more than I actually wanted so you can adjust the tolerance settings down at the bottom um, I'm just going to make it lower and if you adjust that you'll see you'll delete less so I have this now I'm just going to cut each one separately paste it uh, select the bitmap on the back, take the marquee tool again, cut it and paste it. And now we have all our three guys separated, and each is a different position in, his, in which he is walking. Now we're going to go back to your animation folder, uh, animation file, and we're going to create a new movie clip. So if you go to insert, new symbol, and we're going to make this Brendan walk. Brendan underscore walk underscore right because we're gonna have many so it's good to have a somewhat of a naming convention here and create the Brendan right walk and we're gonna have this animation is gonna be three frames long I'm just gonna press F7 because there's a uh, three phases in which is walking cut this go back into flash and I have onion skins on so you, the way you can turn that on is if you go right here and go always show markers and this will help I'll, I'll show you just uh, in a mo few moments so we got our first image now I'm gonna zoom in further so I can uh, have a more clear picture on Brendan and I mentioned that we might not be using 800% but in this case we will you can also make him bigger but uh, I f I'll just uh, uh, make him bigger in the end of the animation sequence so uh, cut this the second image bring it here paste it in and hit OK and if you go to the onion skins if you use this so we can uh, try to align it so they're about so you can see you find a common point so the hair which uh, rarely moves uh, align the hair so it's almost perfect and the last one do the same thing uh, cut this last one in paste it import it and again align this hair with the onion skinned hair so we have that now if we just play this animation so it seems like he's uh, walking Go back to your scene one, put Brendan on the stage, and we're gonna make uh, Brendan bigger. And then we're just gonna make Brendan walk from this side of the screen to this side of the screen. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a classical motion tween. So, if you press F6 on the 10th frame, create classic tween on the 10th frame, we'll have Brendan all the way on the other side. And if we press control uh, enter now uh, let me just turn off the onion skinning now 
So here are the onion skin options. So if you select it, you can see that you'll see it. So now if I press Control Enter, a little fast. So I'm just gonna make it slower so we can all view it in peace. Press Control Enter one more time, and there we go. Very simple animation, and we'll continue to next time with the the battle sequence.